users now have the ability to integrate AI language service directly in OAC. In this recording, we'll walk users through the registration process for AI language. To start, users must first create a connection to their OCI tenancy where the AI language service is running. In our demo, we've already created a connection. And if we look in and we inspect it, it has our tenancy OCID information, our user OCID, as well as the API key needed to create the connection. Once your connection has been established, we can now go in and register our services. So from the menu, we'll click on register model and function, and we'll see OCI language models. We'll use the connection created earlier. And here we can see all of our pre-trained models. To register them, we'll select one at a time. We'll provide a staging bucket name. A staging bucket name is any bucket that exists in the same tenancy as your AI language service. So in our case, it's called Language Demos. And now we simply click on Register. And this process is repeated for all of the language pre-trained models. So again, we go to the menu, we click on our connection, and we'll select the uh, language detection. This typically is done by the OCI admin, and this is done only a single time. Later in this video, we'll show you how to set permissions. Once all of our models have been successfully registered, we can view the details of each of these pre-trained models by going to the OAC menu, clicking on machine learning, and here I can see all of my pre-trained language models that we just registered. If I come over to any of the models and I click on the Actions menu and click Inspect, I can see all of the details, the staging bucket being used, the connection being used, and who created the, uh, the connection. In addition, if I click on Access, I can set permissions for specific users to access these pre-trained models. I can either do it at a user level or at a role level. In our case, we're just going to set permissions to the DV content author that they can have read-write permissions to this particular pre-trained language model. And this process, we'll click Save. This process is repeated for all of the five pre-trained models uh, for AI language. Please stay tuned for further videos regarding the AI language and OAC integration to come. Thanks.